Okay. Welcome everyone here and uh, in person and online. Uh, I want to share today the uh, the Wikitopia proposal slash discussion slash slash concept. Uh, the idea is that um, Wikipedia, Wikimedia, is inherently a utopian concept, and we shouldn't be approaching it uh, quite as ordinary business as usual. Um, and it's it's valuable to think big, and to think of larger areas we can expand to. Um, and it's in fact it's necessary. I don't I don't think we'll survive as a niche as a niche product as a niche experience. Um, and that's sort of uh, there's this wild ideas track uh, at this conference, and I created this with the with that this very much in mind. Um, yeah, so the, the idea is that, um, you know, we need a radical evolution of the Wikimedia movement in response to global trends. Um, there's the Wikiway is an alternative to the, the Silicon Valley empires of the world and, and, and uh, the over-commercialization of the internet um, and all the attendant problems that brings. I think that, uh, that the nonprofit approach has a unique strength on, 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 on digital spaces that it doesn't in other places. And... Uh, I think we've underutilized what we can do online uh, with the nonprofit approach. Uh, yeah, so the idea is that there are um, there's some shortcomings. Uh, so there's some shortcomings in, in, in the movement, and there's some some barriers to growth based on uh, what has happened in the past. Um, so we have to update or replace some of the concepts that have limited us, perhaps. Uh, so rather than uh, technological humility and sort of trying to use other folks' products and seeing how we inter integrate properly with commercial services, we might think about some technological autonomy. Uh, uh, instead of an academic conservatism, we might look more toward creativity and how we can, you know, be, be, be not just like, you know, the conservative accepted thing, but also try new exciting things because we shouldn't be trying so hard to be... Uh, Encyclopedia Britannica 1911. <laughs> uh, we're a little bit past that stage, and we can try. And it's time to try new things and uh, and to be exuberant about it. Um, and the other is that uh, rather than having um, rather than being a, a selective movement uh, or a, a movement that's sort of neutral and faceless, uh, we should try to be a movement that embraces solidarity. Uh, that not just first the first thing is community, but I think more than community is solidarity. We have to embrace ourselves as sort of a class of free knowledge producers and users. Um, that's broader than just the editorship. That's that's a, a very large uh, that's a very large part of society uh, that gets a benefit from it. I do see it as a utopian project. Um, uh, some people think that Wikipedia or Wikimedia is about 23 years old. It's actually about 23 centuries old, <laughs> uh, which is when the Library of Alexandria was built, um, and it's 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 gone quite a utopian way, but still has quite a, quite a ways to go. Uh, so for the exercise for today. Um, uh, I took three of these ideas, and I'm, I'm suggesting that we have a writing exercise in groups um, to write write some things about uh, about uh, about the future utopian movement, and maybe to describe it in a narrative way to help establish a strategy. Um, so it depends on uh, what you want to do, but there are three here. One is uh, the Wiki Social 1.0 manual, uh, which is an introduction to uh, Wiki, Wiki Social 1.0, which is the toolkit uh, for all social and sort of search communications around the movement. Uh, two is a very wiki day, uh, which is a diary entry. You write a diary entry for one person's uh, fictional person's engagement with Wikipedia, the, the Wikiverse, on a particularly serendipitous, busy, and wiki-filled day. The protagonist is not a heavy editor, but makes full use of both existing and importantly future free knowledge projects. So many of the things that uh, say Sam and Sarah were alluding to, um, and how they get around town, how they how they uh, they cook, how they work, how they get their news and information, things like that. And the third one is uh, is get, getting the solidarity aspect, uh, the Wiki Woodstock anthem. Uh, so this envisions that we have at uh, some point in the future we have uh, we have a folk festival uh, of of folk uh, internet culture. Um, I'm wearing the T-shirt for one today for the Clean Water Festival from uh, founded by the folk singer Pete Seeger, in uh, who's, which saved the Hudson River in New York. And uh, I think this kind of thing uh, can work can work for our our social movement as as much as it works for the environmental movement and the labor movement and uh, yeah, the idea is you're writing the, the, the great song of the anthem of Wiki Woodstock and uh, talk about what uh, people are doing there and in other social engagements and the history and struggles of the movement. And yeah, I'd encourage you to uh, get in groups and uh, I'm going to get some poster board and some, some post-it notes and you can pick a topic and work on it together and then you can post it on Wikispore. And you can reach the page on Wikispore by going to utopia.wikispore.org. Wikispore is uh, the place where all your wildest dreams come true. 
um, particularly if you want to start a new wiki uh, that's in the Wikimedia ecosystem. Yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll gather a small number of tables, please. You're encouraged. Yeah, if you want to start two tables, would be great. Take a topic and uh, maybe write some ideas for it. So you can write song lyrics for the Woodstock anthem. You could write uh, things to happen on the uh, on the very wiki day. So maybe you want to do the, 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 the very wiki day, so where someone has Wikipedia has uh, Wikipedia and Wikipedia has a lot of new projects. Uh, we do a lot of interesting things. We replace a lot of the commercial internet, uh, a lot of the commercial, uh, uh, not commercial information internet anyway. Um, and how does someone go about their day? What's their diary entry? Uh, maybe they get some pizza. Maybe they learn how to cook something. Maybe they uh, see something. Maybe it's election day. Yeah, if you have any ideas of what someone might do. Um, going around and battle, use that as a guide if you want. But how has that like evolved in the future, potentially, in our imagination? <laughs> and you choose your time zone. Oh, I see. I, see. I like what you're getting at. What you're getting at is how do you incorporate all the, something about Wikipedia into your daily life? Yeah. So it's not something outside of you that what you do. I wish it was earlier in the day. My brain is like, my brain is like half like. Think of like food. Think of like shopping. Think of think of all sorts of things that you might do that you might go to like Google or some or some different app store. Okay. What about time? Sorry, I've gone on to like an alarm clock time tangent, but like, <laughs> but like, what about an idea where? Uh, what do I mean? Like, we're in our different geographic time zones, but perhaps what you're doing is choosing the like time that you're in to fit with the activities that you're going with. Yeah, something like that. Sorry. We can do it. I did something like that once before, and it got deleted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was too yeah. political. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine? Uh, yeah, we're, we're doing it sat up there for about two or three months. You think? 
because I took Claire, it was, it was one of these conferences, they yeah. needed a role that we could play during an election. Oh. We could like do a Wikipedia article on a candidate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, we, and then from that, people will learn about that candidate and will help in the election. Yeah. But that kind of stuff can get really, really political. Yeah, definitely. And the, the person that I did the Wikipedia article on, yeah. she was challenging <laughs> the city over public property. Yeah. That was being used by developers. Okay, and, and we had found out all I mean all kinds of stuff. Yeah. How the how the mayor was changing um, titles and property, yeah. and they would put something in there about uh, De Blasio, and that was removed first. <laughs> and then the article itself was removed. And she didn't win the election because the real estate board had been sponsoring other candidates and telling lies about that candidate. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is the song, right? Yeah. But you so might be lucky. Like that. <laughs> you, you, might, you might be lucky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but at least it'd be a source mm. where someone yeah. gets to know who that candidate mm. really is. I don't know where you live, but in New York, you don't really okay. get to hear anything mm. other than a week or so, all yeah. of a sudden you start right. to see things. Okay, yeah, so yeah. I tried to make a difference because yeah. I was at a conference and somebody mentioned yeah. that that's something we could do, and I tried it. Uh. <laughs> what else is on our wiki day other than like, yeah? The guy in <laughs> I've been dealing mostly with uh, using Wikipedia to create <laughs> curriculum. Oh, cool. And uh, using the wiki to uh, create books. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would start off with an article. Yeah. Like an, uh, like an article I'd, I'd write or an article I'd already written. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we would find keywords and terms and then take that, Google, find the Wikipedia article that connects. Yeah. And we we did that for a Juneteenth event. Oh, yeah. Because um, Jerry wanted to do something better. on Juneteenth. Yeah. Oh, you know, you know what? You know what? You know what's happening now? I wrote a, uh, a fake newsletter from 2022. It's very serious. They, they want to charge all the people who have the wood, 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 wood oven. They want them to pay like $10,000, $20,000. For this device, so as far as people go, we might lose our affordable food. I could see doing a, a wiki tour where we find Wikipedia articles and take, and if, that way we can take it off the page. <laughs> Great line. I've seen a lot of that. I want to use that more. I've used Wikidata. Yeah. But I really like it. You can do so much with the books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, that's not something I ever do exactly. anything in. Like, yeah. 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 It's, it's, someone told me about a book called, yeah. you know, since Juneteenth, it's just yeah. a transatlantic slave trade. So this guy I know that works at Bloomberg Radio, and he's an older guy, and he does a stock exchange in South Africa, and he told me to read this book, mm. The Two Prints of Calabar. Okay, yeah. So I ordered the book from Amazon, yeah. and after reading the book, I decided, wow, from what I learned from the book, yeah. I wrote things down, and from that, I wrote a uh, wiki book. All right. 
it's a exactly. reference. Yeah. So I call it reference It's books. incorporated yeah. some specific You don't have to start from the beginning to the end. Now yeah. we're earning bar starts. So I've done like about six of those during the lockdown. I could edit forever mm. this way. Yeah. That's, that's really cool. Oh, that's an amazing like initiative. Okay. Uh, that's an amazing initiative okay. of like... Yeah, but you know what was really well, weird? If you can't get people, people to visit... I was in another session they were talking about. It's difficult to get people to actually edit. Yeah, yeah. So I was able to bypass that. I was able to get them involved in discussions, yeah. uh, conversations, yeah. and looking for information. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And talking about what to put in the book. Mm. Even though I was doing all the editing, mm. I still was able to keep them involved mm. by using that. Mm. I'm going to write that down as an idea to steal. That's all right. <laughs> I'm gonna write that down as an idea. If that's yeah, it right. worked. We did about yeah. six. You what did. was your? What, what, can you give me a title? Uh, we can we we can create a a wiki cookbook. Yeah, there is there's a wiki cookbook on with the cooks, and it's like it's almost it's almost a sister project. <laughs> like we could make our own. Yeah, yeah. And keep it on Wikibooks. Wait, are we all we can do since we're here? We can find out about food. Mm. Find Wikipedia articles about food in Singapore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then take those recipes like and put them in a uh, Wikipedia book. Yeah. <laughs> are there like criteria for creating one? Mm -hmm. Are there criteria for creating it's pretty, one? It's pretty open. It's pretty yeah. it's very open. Mm. You know, you decide where you want to put things. It's very open because you you're using existing articles. Yeah, yeah. The only thing you're writing is maybe the introduction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's about all, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's good for people because you say you don't have to edit. Yeah. So it's like an editor's tool. Yeah. You become like a, an editor. And like he says, everybody likes food. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So here's some of them. <laughs> the first one I did with the project during the lockdown was. I wrote, I wrote an article a long time ago about mm -hmm. the Associated Negro Press, mm -hmm. right? A lot of people don't know that we had a thriving Associated Press, Negro Press, in the 20s, 30s, and the 40s, mm -hmm. and the 50s. And then in the 60s, it, yeah. and so people don't even know. Yeah. And it wasn't just in the United States. It was actually, mm -hmm. they didn't even use the word Pan-African, yeah. but it was, it was people from all over the world that were contributors. So it was an article that I wrote about four years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I wanted to engage people, so I took that article. And then from that article, we created the Wikipedia book mm, cool. from the people that participated yeah, in that. Yeah, yeah. That's so early writers, Associated Negro Press, and African American yeah. newspapers. Yeah, that's so cool. Can I take a photo of that uh -huh. on the page? And then, uh, now some of them I put, now this one was done around COVID. Oh, yeah, yeah. When people were saying, why is it that a lot of African Americans are very paranoid yeah. about doctors? Oh, wow. So, because that was happening in reality, mm. in my environment, we did, I, we pulled this one together. Mm. Medical history, healing practices in Africa, African diaspora, mm. and the Caribbean. Mm. Now, you could have this. Now, now, this, okay, these are the user books under my username. Okay, yeah. Now this platform has almost gone away, so now you have to transfer to Pedia Press. Uh -huh. But anyway, you can look. At, you can look at some of those. Yeah, thank you. But it's about six of them. Yeah, that's so cool. So, like, say you're trying to learn something, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? You can create a book around it. Yeah, that's really interesting. Huh? Like, yeah, really. Yeah. And I did one on cryptocurrencies yeah. for newbies. Because I was interested. That's not my field of study yeah, yeah. or anything. So I'd, I'd like to see. I think Wikipedia plays a, has a big role mm. to play in education. Mm. We could do it better than a machine. Yeah, definitely. A, a machine does not have an imagination. Oh, yeah, uh, a, yeah. a machine can just do what we tell it to do, yeah. but it can, it can sort through billions like of documents. AI. But that's it. not an imagination. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't buy into all that superiority of the machine. Mm. What if AI is helping write this book? It's a tool. It's a good it's okay. tool. It's a good tool. It's a good tool. But if you give me your email address, I will send you some of the books oh, I did. Thank you. And another thing yeah. we discovered from doing one around Juneteenth, yeah. 
because I wanted to, you know, yeah. I did one on a woman named uh, Patricia okay. Singletary. I have not heard of no, her. No, Patricia, Patricia Roberts. Okay. No, Andre, that was that one with Andre Roberts. Yeah. Okay. A lot of times, when Juneteenth is the holiday, you don't know about the folks. Yeah. Yeah, I know about Juneteenth. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like the narrative is very limited. Mm -hmm. Every, everybody just say the, uh, the people in Galveston, Texas, found mm -hmm. out late that they were emancipated. Mm -hmm. So that's what everybody mm -hmm. says, like mm -hmm. public, public, public. Yeah. So we would. So I started this research, started mm -hmm. from nowhere. Mm -hmm. So I found out about Andrea Roberts mm -hmm. and how she has altered the narrative. Mm -hmm. It's like not what people tool. think at all. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like, yeah. what do you do and what do you feel after emancipation? Mm. You just run around and wave flags? Mm. Is that emancipation? Yeah. That doesn't even, that's a child, right? Mm. So we, <laughs> we found out that in Texas alone, after enslavement, they built 550, uh, uh, what they call it, freedom colonies, yeah. freedom settlement. That wasn't in the narrative. Mm -hmm. So we wrote a Juneteenth reader. Mm. You, oh, you, see, you see how that works? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we did the same thing around cryptocurrencies for dummies. And we did, let me see. That's really interesting. Thank you. That's really You create your own book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. the reason why I'm fascinated about it is when I was in college, I don't know, have you heard of Marshall McLuhan? Yeah, yeah. Okay. He predicted that he would be a great No, I did not know that. It, yeah. I studied Marshall McLuhan. Okay, yeah. But when I was in college, you did what your classes told you to do. But then there was always the, the college outside the college. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and nowadays you do just what the college tells you to do. Yeah, but, yeah. You know, Radical students in the late 60s, yeah. early 70s. We were a little okay. different. Yeah. But that's one of the things she predicted. So that's why I love doing yeah. the books. That's so cool. <laughs> and it's, it's a YouTube what clip we're just talking yeah. about yeah. where we're going with the technology. Wow. And I have that, that YouTube clip. I wish I could have shown it when we were doing the presentation. Uh, yeah. It's like a three minute Which clip. Which your presentation? It's like a two-minute clip. Okay. Marsha McLuhan's predictions of future technology capabilities is very much like what we are able to do using the Wikipedia book creator. Hmm. Brain fizzing. Hmm? Brain fizzing. Like, so many ideas. Mm -hmm. They even predicted that everybody was going to be in everybody's business. Okay. <laughs> <So> true. <laughs> But I think, as I went back and read all of his stuff, yeah. I read in college, I read it recently when I started to do some work. But I think the main challenge is the Wikipedia challenge. We live in a world where people are not really readers. Mm. And we come from a print culture, all of us. Yeah, consumption is changing. So we deal with a very visual world, and they want everything summarized. Mm. And then we're dealing, we're dealing with the television age and the radio mm. age, and then the early computer age, we're dealing with a plug and play mentality. Mm. And the new technology, even internet, it's mm. not it's not a plug and play reality. Mm. You gotta you live in a world nowadays where you're constantly problem solving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Constantly figuring out how to do this. You can't plug and play it. Yeah. yeah. Now yeah. with AI again, we're seeing another version of plug and play. Yeah. Like, it's, it's but it's the machine. Yeah, yeah. Good, yeah. So how do we yeah. But I, I think Wikipedia has a big long play in yeah. education. Yeah, definitely. They yeah. want something to be able to summarize um, yeah. an article. Yeah, and it's where people like it's where people go, whether whether you want them to or not. Like all my students, like they go to so I teach archaeology, and, and they go to the Wikipedia about. page for the site yeah. before anywhere else, <laughs> before any yeah. of the, the, the articles delivered to like the other way around. Like everything yeah. is right there for us. Yeah. 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 Uh, see also yeah. the references. Yeah. So there's a lot there in that Wikipedia totally. article. Yeah, that they would just explore the page. Yeah, the problem is that some of the articles just aren't. It's not necessarily in my teaching, but in other people's teaching, like the. 
the toilet Oh, no, the very last line of the whole song. Necessarily helpful for them? Or like the it's opinions pretty good outro it, until the last line. In the spirit of collaboration, our anthem rings true for the toilet like and all the codes we construe. So power to the Wikimedians yeah. every single day. But it, yeah, In unity with saying, AI, we like yeah, the way. <laughs> Yeah, thank you for sharing it. Yeah, it's quite a really big problem in the day yeah. with the educational yeah. freedom. Yeah, and it's like, you know, yeah, and how do you, yeah. Will these new tools replace mm. the classical trash mm. uh, classroom, mm. which is, mm. it's stoic. Mm. I mean, not even stoic, it's stuck somewhere. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Now students, because they can have students write their own books. Yeah. The editors. Yeah. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> and and then also I think one of the things we've learned yeah. and I've learned from editing, when you start to write something, you're starting from zero. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then I'll you bring in the theme of reclaiming AI speech, for the public you know good it. and emphasize yeah. its utility to the collective right. benefit. Here's we have a bad habit of thinking we don't <laughs> when we don't see. know. Mm. I don't know if it's a cultural thing yeah, yeah, yeah. or whatever. But then we have to go further. Yeah. It also it's like, wow, I thought I grasped it. Yeah. But I didn't. No. So it's being honest. Yeah. I um a colleague wrote a really good article about what a medievalist, a medieval historian, what they can how things they can do with Wikipedia. And one of the most important things he said was to um, add sections on like historiography or um, like interpretations. To help you can add a body of content that shows that mm -hmm. the past is not static. Right. People see it different I mean, ways. Right. Right. And, to, I mean, and it's yeah. still objective yeah. because it's so-and-so says <laughs> this and so-and-so <laughs> has the other opinion. Then, yeah. um, but he was saying that that will then, the hope is that will then help with people's like understanding of the topics and people will start to look at a Wikipedia page and go, oh, say, this topic is interpreted. It's not one well, thing. It's yeah. not you know, monochrome. It's it's it is something that's interpreted. Um, so I've started doing that quite a lot. To where and I, um, it, you could take an article, yeah, yeah, and create a wiki book from the article. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what you pull out of it? And you could you could pull out like yeah. Oh my brain! <laughs> <laughs> it's melting. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fun. Yeah. Yes. Definitely fun. And you're learning. You're navigating. Mm. Navigating is learning. Mm -hmm. So the classroom, the traditional classroom is so you're not navigating. Mm. You're being told. Yeah. So what does that do for your brain? Yeah. Not a lot. Not very much, right? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so that's where Wikipedia is actually progressive. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's got a big role to play. Totally. So we got to see that we're not, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea of like querying wiki data to find out what to have for dinner. Like, I, I, yeah, I find that quite a good idea. So also, maybe you want to like, oh, you could, you could also do it to, to prepare, uh, prepare food and wine with yeah. some wiki watching. I'm going to put it down before that idea yeah. is forgotten. Yeah, really, really. Please take the picture now. You're going to get a life form. You could. What do I have in my refrigerator? Wiki tours. I could find articles that give tours. Yeah, I always wanted to have walking tours on the um, walking tours. There's so many poss the possibilities are open. Yeah, there are ways yeah. of like navigating different areas and different themes and, and uh, things like weird types of architecture.
Right. Well, you could, could. I mean, I don't know enough about structured data, but could you again follow that choose your own adventure idea and be like, I'm in this place. I'm interested in, I don't know, Victorian architecture. Yeah. Can you build query? Can yeah, can a query cool. build me a tool? And then that yeah. could then map <laughs> onto, and then like download. The yeah. coordinates. Yeah. Probably could. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or like. Yeah. Or you, you could. But there'll be other kind of data, you know. But I want to stop at a toilet on the way, because yeah. yeah. in the UK we've just put all the public toilets on yeah. Wikidata. <laughs> <laughs> but you can you can <laughs> take you have, that. We have virtually no public toilets in the US. Oh no! Oh wow. Well. Where do you live? England. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's broken. It's coming to the end. There's so many possibilities. Mm. And then people are going to come up with different things. Oh, yeah. Way you can utilize it. Totally. Wait, there's my show. Back in New York, the way they're destroying buildings. Oh, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. we don't take pictures of them. So we have to oh. Are they going to are, are the gonna be in the library? <laughs> <laughs> the conference, is that right? Or do you and I love old architecture. Uh, Annie had another one. Really? I'm just going to yeah. write this she down. Went to the fashion yeah. show. <laughs> 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 a lot of I was like, wondering, I was like, that's totally different things. It's funny. And Wikipedia. And I heard some presentations today that I can't believe how people are using Wiki Commons. I just take pictures of events and things like that, but I didn't know I could do all of that. It's fast. I did one with article in 2018 on a town called Timbuktu, New York. Mm. Nobody really knew. Mm. I found out about it two years ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when I found out it didn't have an article, I started to work on it. And then while working on the article, I found out so that we they had a blues festival. Mm. And it's an organization sure. called John <laughs> Brown. Yeah, yeah. And I told a friend about it. So we went to Lake Placid. Mm. And hooked up with that organization. <laughs> had a great time. <laughs> Amazing. So that is like one I where you can take it off the page. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Taking so it off the page. Leave it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's like so it becomes more social. I agree yeah. with that, actually. Yeah. Yeah. And then it becomes more part <laughs> of our lives. It's not thing? something stagnant okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm. and online. I added the walking tour, so you might have to photograph it. Oh, yeah. I think so. Um, but I might go and try and find a coffee or yeah. some other kind of drink. Yeah, thanks for... Um, Did you find this? Richard is always coming up with, with ideas. Yeah. yeah. Things I missed, I can That's go amazing. to you. Yeah. So there's like okay. Yeah, yeah, stay busy. Yeah, just stay busy. Yeah, does anyone, or, or, or maybe someone just, just maybe someone will watch it later? Yeah, okay, so I can share. Well, you can find us on the page, on the, on the Wikisport page. We have some suggestions here. What is Wikitime? Is it self-selected? Wiki news for free streaming on free streaming podcast. Wikipedia has all the maps to navigate. Alice picks the food recipe she likes on Wikiversity. So this is this is the fictional person is Alice in this case. Add ingredients on Wikidata. Add photos on Commons. Wiki Voyage is used by Alice for planning her trip uh, trip itineraries. Share image to Wiki Social and opt into scanning into Commons. Go to school for free online at Wikiversity. Wiki Sommelier, uh, mix food and wine with, uh, and with choi uh, mix your choice of uh, food and wine with a particular film. Wiki Tours. What? Yeah, okay, yeah, hi. 
yeah, wiki tours. So we're, share, we're sharing the fictional adventures of Alice as she goes about her very wiki day using uh, Wikipedia, but also the other Wikimedia projects, but especially the ones that haven't been invented yet. Uh, yeah, besides the wiki Somalia and the wiki tours and the Wikiversity, she also reviews a book on Wikisource. She reads a bedtime book on Wikisource. And she reads a public domain book before bed. So that's, that's several other things. But Alice has a very eventful day um, uh, learning through Wikimedia projects and, uh, and uh, learning about her, her neighborhood and her communities. And so, yeah. So are we, uh, are, is, the, is the song ready or should we wait for that? Well, and who's going to sing? We're not singing. <laughs> we're not singing. <laughs> yet. OK. Wow. Okay, so we have a Wikimania chat book. Right now there are five songs. There are five songs. There are five songs. What a, what a productive cultural movement we are. <laughs> I will revise. Let's get information. Commons fornication. A wiki day. And monkeys at typewriters. Okay, thanks. Thanks, folks at home, <laughs> wherever you are. <laughs> Say hello to your cat for me. <laughs>